Hello, I'm Chris. And I'm David. Today we're going to demonstrate the correct method and procedure for testing external earth fault loop impedance and perspective fault current. To undertake this test, you'll require an earth fault loop impedance instrument and a schedule of test results. Thanks, David. To demonstrate this test, we're going to use the MEGAR MFT1552 instrument. We're going to have to insert the leads into the colour corresponding ports on the instrument and set the scale to the high ohms range. We're now going to have to remove the cover from the distribution board, so we must ensure that isolation has taken place. We switch the main isolator off and also ensure that all the circuit MCBs are in the off position. We then have to remove the cover We're now going to remove the cover from the distribution board. You must be careful because there is line voltage still present. Now we must remove the main earth conductor from the earth bar within the distribution board. Now that we have the main earthen conductor removed from its terminal, we can then insert our leads to complete the test. To do that, we put the green lead onto the main earthen conductor, and with the other probe, we then test across the line conductors. Remembering that this is a live test, so care must be taken. We insert onto the brown. Be mindful of the reading. onto the black and then the grey. Now that we have taken the readings we can record the result as ZE. I then move the dial to PFC which is perspective fault current The value of 4.8 Ka can now be recorded on my test result sheet. We also must remember that the main earthing conductor must be reinstated to the main earth bar within the distribution board before closing the board. I can now record 0 0.05 ohms on the schedule of results and 4.8 Ka. We now know that our measured value for Ka is 4.8. We can compare the MCBs installed in the distribution board and we can see that the lowest MCB is 6KA. We record 6KA on the test result schedule. 